Hey guys, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, my name is Aruka Sami, and um, I am uh, in the last year. I'm studying in the last year um, of psychology. I'm, yeah, third year of psychology. Okay. And um, we are here to discuss, of course, about my book, uh, The Purpose of Life and the Adapt Theory, as it comes from awareness, decision, ability, and talent how to overcome your circumstances through art. And I will start, uh, we are today at the fifth chapter, but I will start the fifth chapter by uh, discussing um, a small part, like a, a last part of the fourth chapter, which is seeking um, a safe shore, okay? This chapter was initially named uh, Seeking Harbor because I, I liked um, that movie Pearl Harbor and uh, I, uh, I thought it was a very interesting uh, connection between uh, the shore and the harbor uh, that we seek to, to avoid certain things or to protect ourselves. But here's nothing, right? So in a time of despair and loneliness, we are usually left behind. In spite of all the wonderful people surrounding us in our everyday life, the reality of our loneliness in front of life's most difficult tests are always seem, seems to tear us down and leave us with the sensation of a sharp knife stabbing our hearts. The pain cannot be measured. If the past is awful, the present seems very sad and the future looks uncertain. Our tendency, our tendency is to seek a safe shore. Picking a way out of trouble is always a good idea, but is this really true or just an unusual? From early ages, uh, we are taught uh, that, there's, that there's never a way of, uh, out of our problems other than fixing them. Even so, more often we decide to ignore that feeling and indulge in some sort of laziness, thinking that alcohol, drugs, excessive parties, unhealthy food, smoking, toxic relationships, promiscuous love affairs, gaming, online dating, or any other sort of bad habit will somehow lead us towards a solution or at least help us escape in a place of comfort by protecting us against the world and the problems that in most cases we have created ourselves. There is no better aspect in our life that shows up how vulnerable can someone be than seeking shelter and trying to deal with problems the wrong way. Of course, there is nothing wrong in seeking a safe shore. It's only a human necessity. The question is where that shelter is and what do you do every time you go there? So before moving forward, um, if you watched the whole uh, uh, videos and other chapters so far, uh, you see that I mentioned that at a certain point to go to our, towards your goals, have a goal, have a hobby, have something to do to uh, focus on. Uh, and I will, uh, I will remind you that the title of the book is How to Overcome Your Circumstances Through Art, right, on an artistic ability. That's why the other theory, the awareness, decision ability and talent, okay? Because, um, you know, the, the, uh, the fact of seeking shore, seeking harbor, seeking cover somehow when we have a, an issue or difficulty is fine. But the thing is what you do, as I said here, what do you actually do during that period of shelter? How would, would you go out of that, that time? So that, yes, that time of, of um, escape, let's say. And I think the best example for this is the pandemic, is the pandemic that we just had two years ago. Um, and the point of it is that, okay, you had two months of staying inside, staying locked in the house. And for some people, uh, there were some countries so were, there were more than two months, just two months here in Romania. I'm from Romania and here uh, there were only two months, but uh, the, the, all the, the point is, the whole point is, what do you do with that time, that stagnant time? How you come out of it? Um, how you pass that time of distress, okay? So um, 
let's put them a little bit together. Have that cup of tea or coffee or whatever, get a hobby, turn it into your goal and um, make it your shore, your safe harbor uh, that you use to recharge uh, and uh, fill up your cup again. Because, okay, the pandemic was just an example. Um, and um, it was a time that we could use to cultivate uh, our hobbies and to cultivate something at, at least to come out of that isolation um, for those, of course, who were healthy and were not um, ill, uh, to come out of that uh, isolation um, with a finished product, let's say, with something that we did useful for us. And if there was a case of an illness, when we recovered and we feel a bit more empowered to do things, uh, to try to refocus and readjust and have that something to do, that goal, that hobby, that thing we should, we should focus on to uh, go over, to, get, uh, to go above um, the circumstances that we had. So that's the whole point of seeking a, a safe shore. You know? Most people uh, in periods and times of, of stress and issues, they go to drugs, they go to, uh, to um, alcohol, they go to all the toxic stuff that, okay, maybe you, you need that to go through, to, to uh, pass uh, that uh, time of distress, but unlearn that habit to go to the bottle, you know? I like where Simon Sinek had a video where he said, okay, during your adolescence, you, um, um, you learn to go either to a human being, um, the bottle, the drugs, the technology, or to whatever uh, thing uh, helps you to cope with distress and with that anxiety and uh, all those feelings. And, the thing is that most of us learn to go to the bottle, to, uh, learn to go to drugs, learn to go to uh, whatever thing is unhealthy, and that becomes our adult coping mechanisms in, uh, in a difficult situation. And the whole purpose of coaching and therapy and books and good habits is to unlearn uh, those uh, mechanisms and turn them uh, or switch them, uh, better said, uh, from uh, drugs, whatever the kind of drug would be, would that be, either food could be also some sort of drug, uh, and turn that into a hobby. Um, learn to turn to a hobby, to a, a goal, to a, a creative aspect and part of, of our life that helps us not only go through things in a healthier way, but also fill our cup fill our empty jar so we can get out of that situation by um, giving uh, and sharing with others in a good way and a healthy matter. Of course, easier said than done, but that's what, um, what a, a learning process and a healing process through a form of therapy or coaching uh, is about. So um, moving forward here, in times of war, soldiers disguise themselves. They go undercover, hide and desperately seek shelter so that they can remain alive, even if they are already wounded. But between two attacks, which is usually a very limited period of time, their mind is working at full capacity. They are restless. They are restlessly try, trying to find solutions, seek help, prepare their next move, and how to backfire tenfold if necessary. They don't seek shelter in order to hide and not face the enemy. They hide in order to prepare and plan the next attack. They hide in order to plan how to make their next move despite the risk of being their last one. Okay. So in time, soldiers learned that a shelter was temporary. A shelter isn't home, right? So uh, a drug, um, an addiction, to put it that way, isn't home is just um, a temporary way of coping that on the long term could create a lot of distress and more, uh, more illness and more uh, toxicity in our life and in our body and our environment. So switching from 
um, that toxic shelter and toxic harbor, let's say, uh, of um, whatever type of drug helps us to cope towards uh, a healthier harbor that um, charges us and makes us feel better and gives us purpose and fills us with uh, hope and with uh, uh, things to share with others. Because of course, if your uh, hobby is to paint, you will have a painting in the end to share with the world. If your hobby uh, or your way of healthy coping is to run, then you can run a marathon you, or you can go further um, and uh, be a trainer, be an instructor. Uh, you can, uh, whatever your hobby is or your healthy way of, of coping, um, it can make you useful. It, it gives you purpose. That's the whole point of, of having a purpose and a goal, uh, making you useful. And while you are useful, to others, you also heal. And it's a two-way, a two-faced coin in a, in a positive way uh, that uh, helps you uh, stay safe, be in your harbor, but also once you get out of there, you have a result, you have a product, let's say, a fruit of, of your work that you can share with others and be helpful towards others. And maybe at a certain point, uh, up to a certain point also contribute to other people's feelings or, also, or at least well-being. Uh, because sometimes even if you look at a painting, you can feel a little bit better by seeing the good things that it, it tries to teach, to teach you and, to, uh, and that the painter tries to, to share with you. So as I said, um, in time, soldiers learned that a shelter was temporary, a shelter isn't home. It meant being safe just for a while. This is why, regardless of how many and hard your battles are, seeking a shelter in order to forget about your problems and avoid the consequences will never be your best move. On the contrary, it will leave space for your enemies to backfire and bring you down like never before. So. The thing is that this, uh, the purpose of life is not to be safe, is to be productive in a certain way, but not in a desperate way, like in a pathological way productive, but to be useful to others. And staying in or um, heading towards a shelter is fine during the storm, but what do you do with that? What, wh how do you spend the time in that shelter? That's the point. Because you know, even if it rains and you seek for shelter, you at least read a book or think of something nice or remember a story that then you share to other people after you, after the rain stops, and 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 you contribute somehow to their life by that. But um, staying uh, in the shelter too long just for the sake of being safe, without being productive and without uh, learning how to be useful to others while you were learning to be useful to yourself and to recharge yourself, um, that's not healthy on the long, on the long term. Uh, and um, that's not okay also if your shelter is a drug, food, alcohol, um, smoking, um, Netflix and chill. It's, it looks healthier, but on the long run it's not because it keeps you unproductive. Okay, uh, so um, I'm not trying to preach you anything. It's not that I'm preaching, but I'm. I hope to just help you to um, see things and then decide to not unsee them anymore. Okay. Okay. So the main aspect here is uh, the moment an illness becomes a blessing, you understand why it has come into your life and how it can model you towards the growth of your own well-being. Once you understand that an illness can be your teacher rather than your killer, only then will you begin to hunt for whatever your higher aim is or the lesson you need to learn. Only then you will heal, okay? okay. Um, thank you for being here. And um, don't forget that you have the um, 
um, the books, uh, the link to the books in the description. And um, get your coffee, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay focused. See you soon.